Hey guys, welcome to <clears throat> a little game here from itch.io called Six Bodies. Uh, so apparently the um, the developers were saying that they were just kind of like, kind of showing what the game could be. And if anyone's really going to enjoy it and enjoy it as much as they have had fun making it themselves. Very little explanation other than there is some kind of person or something waiting to hunt us down and rip our heart out. It's kind of stealth based. Um, but six bodies? I, 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 do you get six tries and then you're dead? I don't know. I, I Let's just do this, okay? That was like a... Discourse on the Dance Floor by DJ Big Cheese. Keep an eye out for that in your local stores. We're going to take a statement now from Officer Bog, the man DJ responsible for uncovering five bodies, victims in a series of mysterious attacks in the Idaho countryside. Officer Bog? Idaho? Oh, yeah! What? A question on everybody's lips. What exactly is going on? Well, it's the damnedest thing. I was driving down Route 45. And at first, I thought I hit a deer or something, because the hood of my car just splattered with blood. Excuse me, are you saying you hit one of the bodies of the victim? Wait a minute, let me back away from that. Did he say Idaho? He said Idaho, right? Right? Did I hear, like, correctly? It turned out to be one of the missing people. I'm sorry, officer, this is horrifying. You're telling me. Do you know how disrespectful this is to the families of the victims? I'm just what? telling you how it is, okay? Bodies in a ditch by the road. All of them were stripped. Forensics is looking to see if the bodies were compromised by someone. Well, judging by your story, sounds like you already have. We're, we're done here. Uh, I'm only trying to inform the public so that they know the truth of what's going on. <clears throat> and come here mm -hmm. to be berated. Is that it? <clears throat> I also noticed that uh, at the beginning of this, it said five bodies. <clears throat> So I guess we're going to become the sixth body. Can I? Oh, occupied. Sorry. <clears throat> Having a hard time getting that one out of his butthole. Have to fuel up my car first. Uh, pump me up. Yeah. Pump it up. Pump, 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 pump it up. Can I go in? Can I go in now? All right. There we go. <clears throat> you know, if, if no one knows, uh, like, this has kind of a... It's very pixely, and it has kind of a... Uh, uh, what's the guy's... What's the developer's name? Um... I've played a couple of his games. I've never recorded them, but... Uh, was Pig Farmer originally. Um, what's his name? Let's see what he says. Mm -hmm. Well, what, what happens if I come back here, buddy? Hey, James. You can see his name is James. Hey, James. Can, can I... Never mind. Hey, um... I oh, need a key. What? Whoa, James! Where the hell did you go, James? <laughs> little, a little bit of a problem with those door mechanics there. Uh, can I? There we go. There's the key. Yeah, I need it for here. Or, or do I? Um, Johnny Death. John Johnny's Death Death Wish. Johnny's death wish. Right, um, I can't. there we go. Finally, it works. Oh, I, I was gonna check other thing, uh, uh, stuff. Hey, I don't want to be down here. No, I, oh, I'm stuck. I can't go anywhere but here. Well, I'm fucked now. We're down here with the killer, aren't we? Is that my run? Yeah, that's my run. It's not real fast, but... Oh! 
Well, hey, some kind of warehouse? I'm not sure if I want... Thought I saw something over there. Not sure. I gotta have a key. Not sure if I really want to go venturing down here. Seems kind of bad, you know. If only I had a tool to help me open this. Um, what's his name? God, I'm trying to figure out the developer's name. But this has a very, very... Whatever the developer's name is, feel. I can't. I cannot believe I can't remember his name. Um, oh look, what's that over there? Puppet combo. That's it. Puppet combo. This feels like a puppet combo game. Almost like they're taking, like, direct inspiration from him. Or them. Let's go back here and... There's this. Uh, oh! Why did you make the creepy music sound? Creepy music sound. Maybe I should have shut that. How about I'll shut it now? Oh, but maybe he's here. I'm taking my instincts from Amnesia the Dark Descent. Could you tell? Keep the doors open that you need to. Shut the doors that you need to as well. That looks like a screwdriver. I want that. Give me a screwdriver. Hey, you, you, you cry all you want, buddy. Let it all out. Sometimes we need to. Why does it sound like it's everywhere though? Oh! Okay, that's why. Why were you sitting there, you oddly animated thing he didn't look like the rest of this at all okay so I went in here that's where he was oh he, he's not very threatening but he's weird oh god kind of goofy looking he has a creepy face for sure it's like ah, I got you now baby maybe I should be more quiet I don't even know oh god damn this guy's everywhere I don't want him to be See him. What are you doing, dude? I don't know where he is, and I think I just got myself in a corner. Fine. How many times have I been caught? Oh, God! 
jump scares are plenty. What the fuck, man? He's like, one moment he's like clear across the room. The next moment he's like right next to you saying hello with his big toothy grin. Shithead. I got in, dick. Ha ha ha. So what did that do? What, did it open a door? It doesn't even say. Hey, asshole. Oh, I just saw him. Wait a minute. Where'd you go? You're just gonna hang around the one spot I probably need to go to, is that it? I don't know where he is. I don't know where he is. He just vanished and I don't know where he is. Was that supposed to be open? Oh! He knows where I'm at like every fucking time, man. I, I really wish that the, uh... <laughs> the antagonist would have been a little bit more... Scary? It's, it's just a jump scare. That's all you get. He's a, some guy with his shirt off. Some kind of... Hey, dude, you're looking right at me. Some weird redneck with a fetish. He's going to break out a banjo and come after me. Was I looking for, like, a symbol like this somewhere in the room? Because I don't recall seeing one. I wonder... Which way is he going to go? I think we need to go around here. They said it was a stealthy game. Need to be stealthy as possible. You going to come after me, dude? You going to get me? Yeah, he is. Watch. Okay. What does this go to? It's like I hear a door sliding open, but... I don't know where. So with that said, I really don't know where I'm supposed to go. I... I whoa... Whoa! Again? I don't know how to navigate around here without him just finding me. Guy's a fucking massive douche. I love this little cubby hole we have here that you can't get into. What's gonna come around this side and all of a sudden magically you're there? <gasps> the fuck? I just checked. Wait a... Ooh! You know, he's... Ah! He is like on... He's on a rampage now. He has a purpose. This guy's like, I know you're in there. But for some reason, I don't know how to crouch. Look at him. Smug looking motherfucker. Hey, got you now. I'm just gonna run. Fuck this shit. No, I'm not, because I ran out of stamina. He's gonna get me. I hate him so much. He's coming after me. Ugh. He came in the room! Okay, I'm, I'm, this is my last try, guys. I'm sorry, but this is just getting kind of... What, monotonous? Okay. So we're in here now. I'm going to wait for this 
windy sound. Is that coming from his butthole? I just need to see. I, I don't care if I get caught. I just want to find out. Can I hide back here? Is this a place to hide? Look! I was totally hidden, and the motherfucker just found me, man. And I'm like, I don't know what to do. This is just really frustrating. He's probably right behind, behind me, ready to rip my head off. Yeah, you go back there. Don't come back. Well, I think I've had my share of six bodies. I don't know how to get through this. Um, I spent a while just trying to figure out a, a, a plan that's going to work. Fuck this shit, I'm out. Hey guys, what is up? And today we are playing a game called Blind. This is uh, version 1.0. Uh, it's kind of living up to its name right now because I can't see a thing on this screen except for down on this bottom left hand corner it says start settings and exit i don't think we have to worry about the settings i'm not going to worry about them at all so let's just go ahead and start this damn thing it's loading oh this is really quiet <laughs> how do i open doors I don't even know how I did that. Wow, it's... Hmm... Um... <laughs> uh... Wow, it's dark. Now I see where they, I see where they got the, uh, yeah. I'm seeing where they got the name from. Or why they called it this, and I can't s seem to go anywhere this direction. So I guess I'll go this way. Don't think I have a choice. Oh my god, it is pitch black. <clears throat> Hence the name, Blind. What? What? There's some. What? 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 It's like a radio. Now I heard you. You can turn on lights. Okay, you hit E. Okay. Oh, hey, this kind of a '70s throwback here. Um. Was there another light in... Oh, look at this. Can I... Is that a lamp I can turn on? Please turn on. Please turn on. Looks like one of those... Like, what, a Tiffany lamp? Is, is there another light somewhere I can turn on? Holy crap, it's dark. There's no other lights. Wait, wait, what was that? <laughs> wow. There, there we go. Okay, what? Uh, that's just like an iPod or iPhone dock. Lights in there are just still kind of going on and off. That's interesting. Now, can you open do I was going to try and open the door until it decided to attack me. How about this one? Turn it on. Whoa. 
Hey. The hell was that? I turned on the light and it sounded like a door slid open or something. So just in case anyone was wondering, this is this developer's first game. He said not to be too harsh. So we're not gonna be too harsh. Um, I would really, really like, kind of like to know what I'm supposed to be doing. Um, wait a minute. Come on, light, show again. Is there anything I can hit here? I can't see anything. Is there another light source that I can hit? Oh, wait a minute. What? Was this here before? I don't remember a staircase. Wait a minute. Oh, is this some kind of PT thing where things are going to change? What is going on? <clears throat> hey, here's a lamp. Hmm. Huh. Curious. Uh, can I open these doors? What? What? There's... There's like goo or it's like they someone what caulked them shut <laughs> I don't know kind of kind of weird wait a minute look at this they're all like that why are they all sealed shut this one too oh what the hell I, I'm you know, it'd be creepy if we saw something down there wandering around. Wait a minute. Is this... Do they live... You can kind of see... I didn't really look out there. Are they, like, living on a... Do they have waterfront... <laughs> waterfront view? Ooh, how posh. Wow. This is... Whoa. Okay. Hold on there, bud. What? What? Where, hey, where'd you come from? Who knocked you over? Okay. Can I open you? I can open you, but do I really want to go in there? Since it's so damn dark. Can I take this with me? This is rather unsettling. It's just, there's no sound. Why, why can't I, can I, am I even near the, it won't let me go in there. Or am I in there? I don't, I don't, huh! Okay, whoa, hey. <laughs> All right then. <laughs> um, whoa. Oh. Wow, that really, wait a minute. Is this, <clears throat> All right, so this does have some PT elements. It's uh, looping, because this is where we started, right? Yeah. Yeah. What the fuck? All right, well, okay. Let's go back in the kitchen. Make sure everything's in order. There's the stairs. Hmm. Um. <laughs> yeah, let's take a look here. Um. Yeah. Wow. Look at that. Damn. Got money, don't they? <clears throat> Why are you doing that? You. It's. It's not even a radio. Well. I guess some of those charging docks are radios, aren't they? Does this open now? Oh, it does. Am I supposed to go in here? Is this a good idea? What? Oh, you're kidding. <laughs> yeah, mm hmm. Okay, now what? 
Can, I've kind of fallen out of the, um, uh, what is this lens flare stuff going on all over the place? Uh, fallen out of the whole, you know, PT looping thing. Um, I still, <gasps> that, hmm, I still say that if it's done correctly, it can be very effective. But generally, as a rule, everyone just tries to copy the PT formula, and it just doesn't, it just falls flat. It's the same thing over and over and over. What is the deal? I think the radio is like an add-in, you know, for the whole PT effect kind of thing. Because there's a radio, and it speaks, and says weird shit, and freaks you out, says stupid numbers that no one understands. Hey, this is, is this more lit up than it was before? I don't know. Okay, now this, everything's still sealed off, apparently. Do I want to go down here again? Probably not. We'll go backwards so I can actually kind of see. I guess we uh, go to areas we haven't been to recently. Um, not sure. <laughs> Whoa, oh. Hey, 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 hey. Baby's got a temper. Go through that shit. Is anyone there? Or is it just spooky ghosts? The game seems to have my undivided attention now, but I still don't know what. Do I go upstairs? I've been upstairs though. Very, ugh. very recently, in fact. Mm. Wait a minute. Why am I hearing? Is that just? I don't know, the wind and stuff outside, or... I don't know what to do now. I'm like... Just kind of wandering around this house, and... Somewhat aimlessly... <clears throat> I, I guess we go back upstairs? I don't really know. I, if it's another one of those, you know looping hallway things it's you know it's gonna just keep having you do it until finally you trigger whatever you're supposed to trigger I okay um oh wait a minute maybe maybe we go back in that room again is that gonna make us loop never thought about doing that I wonder if we loop again Maybe. Or maybe not. Okay, well. It was worth a try. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing. This game is start to screw in with my head. I'll probably wind up dead. I honestly okay let's go in the kitchen um wander around the kitchen that looks like a, a uh, what is that it's just like a a beam or something in the way um what am I doing 
I've been through here so many times. I don't know what to do. Let's go back in here again. Maybe we'll trigger something this time. No? Wow, I've been wandering this forever. Okay, the game is called Blind. Are we supposed to, like, maybe turn off the lights? That would really suck. Because, damn, I, I'm not going to be able to see where I'm going. I can turn them off. Okay. All right. This is... Ah! Hmm. Okay. I don't have any toilet paper around, so I guess I'm going to have to sit in my squishy mess here for the next five minutes. Or however long this lasts. Okay, so... <laughs> turning that light off was a mistake. Um, what happens if I turn this one off? Oh, God. Okay, turn it off. What, what Quasimodo bullshit was that? Fucking hell. What? Turn it on. This is some dude who's all like... The fuck? So am I supposed to... <laughs> follow his direction? Do I go back in here? This Yeah, because this light's off. Can I turn it on? I, I can't. Well, we haven't gone upstairs in a while. How about we do that? Probably a shit idea, but... I, I, I come up with lots of shit ideas. I do lots of dumb things. Oh, you know what I haven't done? I haven't gone down here in a while. <gasps> well, that was a mistake. What the hell? He's moving in slow motion. Uh, Where are you, friend? You don't seem to be too harmful. I, at least I don't think you do. I haven't done anything yet. You just look kind of sad. Kind of weird and sad. Let's go in here, because, you know, this was, at one point, a teleportation device. But this is where it's a big mess. This is where shit was thrown around. But I can't see anything in here. Oh. Um. End of game? What? Well, that was abrupt. All right, guys, so that's uh, your fix for two random horror games today. Uh, let's kind of go over what we what we saw. Six bodies. Um, I didn't really, you know, see six bodies. We heard about five. I guess we were supposed to be the sixth. <clears throat> but with that said, I mean, we died like, I don't know how many freaking times, but, you know, Mr. Paper Thin Redneck, I, I honestly, guys, I didn't know how or what I was supposed to do. I hit that button. Where am I supposed to go? It it just and uh, let's let's face it, the antagonist. It just it it just didn't fit. I mean, it, like everything looked and, and I mentioned this. It, it everything looked you know pretty decent. You know, in kind of like a pixel way. And then you had this like hand drawn like paper figure <laughs> that would just jump scare you like 
out of nowhere didn't really work for me. I couldn't, I couldn't proceed. I just couldn't do anything. It just really didn't work for me. I'm like, and to be honest, the antagonist was really not that scary. It was just, there was jump scare moments when he would catch you with his big toothy grin. Looked like something out of Beavis and Butthead. I'm not sure, but they could have something on their hands there, but you know, just count me out, you know? Okay. So blind, um, I enjoyed that one. And for a first, uh, first time ever, uh, project for a developer, I, I was, I would, I'm not going to say that wasn't bad at all. I, again, it was jump scare moments, you know, but you know, usage of sound and the thing about the sound is like, there was nothing. It's like, you could hear your footsteps. You might hear like the hum of a light as you walked past it. Um, the charge port. You'd hear that crackling sound like it was a radio, but really nothing else. And I think that made kind of like the jump scare moments so effective because everything was just so still and like lifeless. Then all of a sudden, it just hits you and you're like, whoa. And the antagonist in this one, while really not a threat, was definitely more effective than... Our six bodies friend, uh, Mr. Paper Thin Redneck. Originally, at first, was kind of odd looking. You didn't really get to see you know, what this guy was, or what he was about, or what he was doing there. Or is he a threat, or what? Is just this thing, this entity there that I, I guess was just planted in there for more of theatrical presentation maybe just just to freak you out a little bit oh there's something after you and then as it turns out you're pretty safe you know you just end the game and that's it uh but you know for uh, again it was like a looping like a looping uh mechanic you know you go here you wind up here and you always wind up in that one room until the very end and it's and it's just that was kind of a jolting end too i have to admit but uh, I think it was pretty well done for a first-time project. I, I'm actually quite pleased with it. I am the type of guy who really does enjoy. I really do prefer horror games without all this puzzle bullshit I don't have to deal with. I don't want to deal with puzzle bullshit. I really kind of liked the fact I didn't have to read a goddamn thing either. Uh, that was very enjoyable. It just, you know, wandering around, learning the map, figuring out what's going on, not knowing what's going on. And that's probably one of the most effective things in horror games, I believe, is not knowing. It's like people fear what they don't understand and what they don't know. Effective in that in that respect, because you're just, you're thrown into it. What am I supposed to do? The only problem with that is if you don't have any direction, you could be sitting in that game for hours, you know, trying to figure out what the hell you're supposed to do next. Because I was wandering around there for a while until I figured, figured out that, uh, well, I think uh, maybe I'll try turning off a light. And then all of a sudden stuff happened. That was a pretty good job. Pretty good job on that developer's part. And I would really like to see a lot more from him, to be honest. Uh, very enjoyable on that one. Anyway, guys, I do hope that you enjoyed these two random horror games. Uh, if you did enjoy them, please leave a like and share the videos. Uh, I, I suggest you sub to my channel right now if you haven't. Or not. Anyway, guys, hope you're all having a, a fantastic day. Hope you're staying safe and hope you're staying healthy. See you in the next one, guys. Peace.